Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today I bring you Lobotomy, the first edition by Titan Forge Games. Now, when this game originally came out, it came out as a Kickstarter exclusive. I did not jump on the original Kickstarter because at that point in time, I wasn't doing anything with Kickstarter. So uh, I bought this in the aftermarket. Uh, so everything I'm going to show you here today is everything that's just in the base game. Another video will show you one of the expansions that I picked up for this base game. It has now been re-released as Lobotomy 2 Manhunt. I also picked that up, so I'll be doing a video a little bit later about that as well. But this is the original box set that came out by Titan Forge Games originally. So let's flip the box around so we can see a little bit what this game is all about. In this game, players are patients trying to escape a psychiatric hospital together. The adventure has elements of survival horror, dungeon crawling, and role-playing. Everyone becomes a twisted character with a set of real reality-bending disorders. You see the staff as horrifying abominations and common objects, as magical artifacts. You have prepared an escape plan, but even trivial tasks seem like out-of-this-world missions. Hopefully, you will find a way to use that to your advantage. Otherwise, the chief hospital administrator will finish his rounds and strap you back to your beds. To help you embrace the unsettling atmosphere of this game, there are over 50 quality miniatures, dark theme art, and a question. Are you really escaping the lobotomy, or are you this way because it has already happened? So, let me give you some examples of some of the figures. The way the board would be set up. The components. This was released in 2016 by Titan Forge Games. And for more information about this game or the new Kickstarter for Lobotomy 2 Manhunt, you can go to www.titan-forge.com. This is an extremely heavy, well-packed box, just to let you know. Here we go, let's crack this bad boy open and let's see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. So right off the bat, we have a manual and all kinds of other stuff, which I'm gonna to put to the side and we'll get to it. So the manual, it is a rather large rule book, as you can tell. So it's, it's, it is also oversized printing, as you can tell right here on the back, but it is a large rule book. Now, one thing that I've heard uh, online, again, I've never played this game, but online people talk about that the manual is not uh, was not written the best, uh, that it, there was a lot of confusion. And later on, I'll just show you, because I have to print it out, Titan Forge had also released kind of a, a errata, that you could pick up online so i also printed that out a while back that kind of shores up some of the rules that and answers some of the questions that you'll find in this rule book so you can probably find that again at titan forge uh, titan hyphen forge uh, games.com probably get more information there about that but in the meantime let's kind of look through this rule book so as you can tell oversized print so that's why there could be so voluminous the reality is just different than yours. An introduction page, then your table of contents, your introduction, your gameplay, your component list, some photos of some of the figures that are included. Component overview tells you what all the different things. You have a scenario guide, which we're talking about, the central board pieces, the quarter board pieces, chaos die, your different sizes of dice. You have your inventory cards, your mental disorder cards, your memory cards basic skills cards, your character cards, you get six-sided dice, chaos and defense dice, and you get four and 12-sided dice, more stuff, you get movement cards, monster cards, scenario cards, first player token, door tokens, locker tokens, body tokens, memory tokens, special tokens, red and blue tokens, plastic miniatures, and color character color bases. Now, before you start to play, you figure out what is the difficulty level that you want to go with. So difficulty one scenario, two, three, and four scenarios. First scenario, paranoid beginner, 30 to 45 minutes. Normal, 60 to 100 minutes. Three scenarios, crazy hard, 120 to 150 minutes. Four scenarios, insanely impossible, 150 plus minutes it'll take. You get the characters and players. You get your first game, your board setup. 
preparations. Again, all this is all about the setup of the board. Randomization. Character setup. The goal of the game. Character cards. Explanation what the character cards are. We'll see those up close. So it says here, goal of the game. Players win if they complete the objectives of all scenarios. Example, ex example normal difficulty, two scenarios. However, the time to do so is limited and is represented by the ward and boss. The ward starts on the space marked as A1 and cannot be attacked by players. Approximately once each round, he moves one space forward. All right. So I'll go on and explain more about that. But players win to complete the scenarios. Okay. Gameplay. You have game rounds. Game round consists of two turns. The player's turn and the monster's turn. List of actions. Running. Movement. Important. Green arrows indicate spaces characters can move onto for one action point. Red arrows indicate spaces that are blocked. Walls, doors, obstacles, and aisles. You can't move through them. What line of sight means. Imagination test. Then the monster's turn. Step A, step B. Gameplay. Step C, step D. Step E, monster attack, monster movement. How to read a monster card. Again, monster movement. More examples of that. Important monsters can move through doors. Monsters moving uh, moving fast monsters faster gameplay monster attack searching body search cabinet search search tests memories memory token memory deck skills each character has four personalized skills and it'll tell you right in the back of the card there name the type cool down the cost and the rules different types of skills and traits. The cost, the rules for them, skill capacity, inventory, inventory categories, weapons, equipment, more important facts. Then combat, drugs, player attacks, attack test, choose a target, choose an attack, attack roll, count successes, special effects, defense, damage. Attack types, attack with fists, attack with a weapon, attack with an attack skill. Combat, attack symbols, fire, holy, ghostly, power, frost, AOE, ranged, weapon attack, precision, critical, holy and ghost attack, power attacks, frost attack, ranged attack. AOE or area of effect attack. Important. More artwork. That ghoulish artwork. The slasher that you'll run into. Precision attack. Critical attack. Twins. Monster attack. Monsters target. More examples. The attack table. Monster's priority, important, overwhelming, being overwhelmed. Monsters, AOE attack, more examples. Ranged monsters. Insanity, insane abilities. Tantrum, insanity penalties. Insomnia track. Insomnia shifts. Insomnia shifts defy time. Insomnia shifts defy gravity. Examples of that. Death. Stomp. Death. Doors. Door types. Lock doors. Unlocking test. Monsters and doors. Line of sight and doors. Scenario cards. Scenario jump. Get okay, expl explanation of what's on the scenario card and how to read it. Objective, special event, and scenario jump. Finishing a scenario. Regain one insanity. Draw a card from the mental disorder deck. 
your final clash. The Warden versus one of the inmates. Victory and defeat, special monsters and mini bosses, special monsters and mini bosses. Then you have a glossary of terms, the nemesis. Two pages of glossary of terms. What each of the tokens represents. Scenario guides, finishing a scenario, difficulty levels. So scenarios, memories. So it's got objective, the setup, rules, cassette token, diary tokens, little girls, next scenario trigger, scenario events, surge blue, surge red, handicap, 13th day of Christmas, objective, setup, rules, one day at the circus, more scenarios. Frankenstein's Tower, Blood God's Offering, and again, all the, all the scenarios are set up the exact same way. Lesbian Vampire's Diaries, Blood Bond, The Antichrist, The Body Snatchers. Asylum Field Day, Dream World, Twin Defense, Monster Control, Vampire's Desires, The Book of Revelation, Balloon Frenzy, The Big Bad Wolf, Mama's Home Cooked Dinner, Rescue Mission, the Mist, Moonlight Shadow Ritual, Siren Song, and it also gives you a detailed outlook of all the game board, game board tiles as well. So it is a comprehensive rulebook. Again, I don't know how good the rulebook actually is. There, I have read and watched some critiques about the rulebook. Again, I'm going to have to check it out and let you guys know on a later date how the game was played and whether the rule book needed some adjustment or not. Again, page for the creators and those who back the Kickstarter and everything else in the back here. So that is one big tome of information. That is your lobotomy, the instruction manual right there. Then you have your centerpiece tiles, which are right here. Again, they're double-sided. Again, the scenario will tell you which boards you need to use. There you go. That's your two center cut tiles. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you real quick here is right here are your monster cards and your character cards. So we'll start with the character cards. So you can be Bernard Smith. Again, there's, it has the word character in the back and the, the picture from the uh, photo from the front cover. All the information you need is only on one side, which is Bernard Smith. Peter Constant, Hel Helena Swan, Marcus Deiter for Dieter, Arnie Connors, Ellen D. Ridley, Doyle Walker, and Grandma Bates. Those are your characters that you can be in the game. I'll see a nod to quite a few number of horror film references there. Then you also, well, let's take a look at that card real quick before I go any further. So it says Grandma Bates. Let's see what it says. Grandma Bates, 
was signed into the hospital by her lovely granddaughter. She has middle stage Alzheimer's, but she often talks to someone when there is nobody in the room. Steph has tried to contact her granddaughter for help, but they found out that she's been dead for several years. Mental disorder, she's schizophrenic and she has phobias. Starring equipment is a random weapon. Okay, again, you have to find out what those icons mean. I'll see that as well. So you've got your intelligence, you've got your strength, you've got your, or what you can do with a weapon, how many wounds she can take. And I'm, I'm assuming it's two movement, but I'm not sure. Wheelchair each turn, gain three extra movement, unusable for or movement only. Oh, you cannot declare running. Oh, that's pretty obvious. You can't run if she's in a wheelchair. That's pretty obvious. Okay, so there it is. Again, all these icons, everything in the card is explained in the main rule book. All right, then we also have our, whoop, almost dropped it. We have our monster cards. So you have the Frankenstein's monster. So let's look at this card real quick. Skills, boss, memorable, um, critical, strike, unholy. Times the number of the players. Okay, attacks. Three to four, five to six. Oh, I guess if it's one to two players, use this. Three to four players, use that. Five to six players use this. Okay. I never knew much about people until I took one apart just to see how it worked. All right. You have the scavenger, the nurse, nemesis, the vampire, the twins, the orderly, the body snatcher. Slasher, the little girl, Big Mama, Witch, the Baba Yaga, the Antichrist, the Clown, a mental patient, and the Warden. So those are all the character, or I should say the monsters or villains that you'll be facing while in the asylum. Okay. As you've seen a hundred times before in other games, the basis for your for your characters. We got a bunch of those to choose from. We've got wooden discs. I believe it's 30 of each color. They're obviously wooden and they're obviously circular file. So let me take those out. Yeah those as well. You have your first player token. Nice hard plastic. Cool piece. Put that over there. Cards? Well, let's just put it this way. We've got a heck of a lot of cards to show you. But before we get to the cards, I'll show you the dice real quick. All right, so like they said, the D6s. You remind me of first edition 40k dice. Nice. Roll well. There you go. Got a six. Can't complain about that. You have a defense die. Two, three, one. All right. You see that? All right. It's a defense die. You have your standard D12. Six is marked with a blip on the bottom. There's your six again. Nine's over here. So you can tell what the difference between those two are. All right. Rolled an eight. Can't complain with that number. You also have the chaos dice. And that'll all be explained in the game, how that's used. And of course, there's also a D4 as well. Standard D4. So you have a total of 10 D6s. You got a total of 10 of those. Put them all right over there. Okay, now getting back to those cards we were talking about. So each player or I should say each character gets a set of four 
cards to choose from for their character. So in other words, you pick Barnard Smith, Street Smarts, Prison Riot, Aggravated Assault, Hit and Run. And you would look at this one and choose which one or two that you need to, to represent your character. So you get four of those cards for him. So these are your character cards. Peter Constant. He has a choice of Karma, Angel's Favor, Demon's Favor, or Lifelink. You have four for Helena, Helena Swan. She chooses from Hypnotizing Eyes, Justice Sip, Shadow Step, and Blur. You have Marcus Dieter, or Dieter. Personnel Only, Anthrax, Ghostbuster, Bedside Manor. You get to choose Arnie Connors. Hmm. Looks like a guy from the Terminator, right? Arnie Connors, Sour Connors. Let's play on it. You got it right there. Okay. You got Rex, Shockwave, Chop Chop and plow through. So let's just read the back of this one real quick. Utility, one cost. Move three spaces in any direction. Each enemy on the way, excluding the last space, is knocked down and stunned. Remove any revealed, locked, or barricaded door on your way and lose one for each door removed this way. It goes up to seven, okay? And then we have Ellen D. Ridley, who looks like Ellen Ripley, but shh, we won't make a mention of that. Um, Mother's Rage, Flame On, Escape Velocity, Lucky, Lucky, Lucky Star. Those are her four cards. Then you have Dale Walker, who looks like Blade, Vampire Killer. So we have Blade <laughs> Equilibrist. Shark and Toss, Swiftness, and Vampiric Regeneration. And last but not least, you have Grandma Bates. I'll see Norman Bates's mother, who sits in the window, who everybody thinks is alive, but actually she's dead, right? Drive through, don't hit the old lady, bad bedtime story, and Grandma's Pudding. So those are all of your eight characters that you can be. Okay. You also have another set of cards here, a whole bunch of them. These are your scenario cards. Blood Bond, the Antichrist, Moonlight Shadow Ritual, One Day at the Circus, Home Cooked Dinner, Dream World, Monster Control, The 13th Day of Christmas, Memories, Frankenstein's Tower, Vampire Desires, Book of Revelation, Rescue Mission, Big Bad Wolf, Twin Defense, The Mist, The Body Snatchers, Asylum Field Day, Lesbian Vampire Diaries, Good God's Offering, and Balloon Frenzy. So I believe when we were reading through the uh, rule book, it was saying the stars represent how difficult the difficulty level for those. Okay, so you see there's two there, there's three there, there's one back here. I believe that's the difficulty level for the additional scenarios. And we have additional cards. We have movement cards. Okay, all the, all the backs or front, depending on where you want to look at it, are all the same. So no event, shattering screech, no event, can't run, can't hide. So it's all different things that happen while you're moving. Different events that could happen while you're moving from place to place. Okay? So that's those cards. I don't want to read through all those. I don't want to give away any secrets. So there you go. That is your movement deck. And you have even, as they say, more cards. You have Anxiety Neurosis. Your equipment cards. You 
you have your meds. Weapons. Okay, so let's take these one at a time. So you got your movement, you have your anxiety neurosis. You've got foresight, fortifications, blinding aura, rashberg, uh, rash bang, sorry, rash bang, circle of protection, chi control, acceleration, unstable barrier. Masochism, masochism, sorry, masochism, sorry. And guard, the death experience, bloodbath. So let's just take a look at the first one we have here. We have foresight, defense, cost is none, gain, avoidance, five for this round. Again, that's all explained in the book. But there's your anxiety, this neurosis. Then we have equipment, hospital scrubs. Evacuation plan, leather mask, scroll of wall, holy water, medical history, zombies teeth, fishing coat, patient files, hockey mask, backpack, clockwork monkey, Hannibal's mask, prosthetic leg, wooden stake, brain in a jar, key card, Messiah's seal, rag doll, tarot cards, toolkit. Equipment cards. You also have meds. Timispan. Methyl date. <laughs> All medical terms, not sure how. Floxetine, sertraline, imipramamine, trazodone, asinaprin, asenapin, pine. I don't know. Anyway, those are your meds. Probably butchered those, all those names. Sorry about that. And then, of course, we have our weapons that you can find throughout the hospital. Gas pipe, meat cleaver, sickle, crowbar, kitchen knife, bone saw, pistol, shotgun, Karakovian machete, broken glass, club, wooden cross, wrench, fire axe, scalpel, golf club, police baton, lobotomy spike, Golden cross and a steel cross and sledgehammer. That's more cards you got there. And guess what? Even more cards. So in this game, if you're looking for a game that doesn't have a lot of cards, well, you came to the wrong place this time. There's a lot, a lot of cards in this game that you gotta use. And again, these are all memory cards. So you have heater's memory. Memory strip five, four, three, two, one. Marcus memory. So these are memories for each of the individual characters. So if you have eight characters, that should tell you how many cards they have here. Marcus memories. Strip five, four, three, two, one. Again, I don't want to ruin anything about the game, so I don't. I'm not going to read off their memories or anything else like that. But we could take a look at one of the cards. So we'll just look at this one. Helena's memory. It says combining the best of two worlds. Wolf claws. Equipment indestructible. Your first attack becomes four you can lose one to add an extra die so her memories memory strip five four three two one and we were talking about grandma before here's grandma you can't spell health car without health care without thc medical marijuana is on her card she's a church goer chili con carne don't kick the old lady phase out and then you have memory strip five, four, three, two, one. Again, Ellen's memory. Again, she has survival instincts, master engineer, combined weapon, flamethrower, and then five, four, three, two, one memory strips. 
Doyle's memory. He's got bomb, arsenal, trophy, precision, silver katana. Memory step five, four, three, two, one. We got Bernard's memory. He's got Bernard sneakers, kleptomaniac, prison break, hidden blade. Been there, done that. Then it's five, four, three, two, one of the memory strips. Keep going. Arnie's memory. He's got power fist, well oiled me mechanism, endoskeleton, WrestleMania, killing machine. Then five, four, three, two, one. So if I go back, take a look at some of the ones that, that I didn't go and read to you. Grandma's. Elena. So go back to Peter real quick. Peter has the Grail, Dark Alley, Excommunication, God Bless, Inworthy Hands, and he's got five, four, three, two, one memory strip. Then Marcus memory. You got Marcus Lab Coat, Among the Peers, Medical History, Anatomy Lesson, Cold Fact, and then five, four, three, two, one. And that's all the skill sets for the each of our characters, and again, in the game, it'll explain to you how many cards, how many memory cards each player gets uh, during their play. And of course, the last set of cards, so as you can tell, there's a plethora of different cards to choose from and that are using this game. And then we have, uh, we have an aggression deck. We have a phobia deck. Schizophrenia deck, OCD. So let's take a look at some of these. This is the aggression deck, ambush, earthquake, coup de gras, helicopter smash, psycho gambler, gladiator spirit, all out strike, dual wield. Humanization, Fist of Fury, Jawbreaker, Attack, six dice, plus one to attack roll. So that's Aggression. Then we got Phobia. Now I'm going to try to even read through half of these. Uh, no, no so co -mophobia. Hydrophobia, Claustrophobia. All right, maybe not so hard. Taasophobia, autophobia, hemophobia, somniphobia, necrophobia, chronophobia, achmophobia, anthropophobia, decidophobia, pyrophobia, agoraphobia, Pyrophobia and agoraphobia. So if we look at that one real quick, no so co me phobia. Uh, utility costs one, recover three blood, and randomly place a blue token on the board. A character on a space with the marker can remove it and recover one, I guess one wound, one death. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Again, that is your phobia deck. Then we talk about schizophrenia, a lot more cards. We got Mind Shatter, Walking Death, Positive Thinking, Reverse psychi Psychiatry, Sub-Zero, Walking Death, Dragon Breath, Craziness Unleashed, Teleport, Firewall, Faith Healing, Dragon Breath, Faith Healing, Holy Nova, Reverse Psychiatry, Holy Nova, Mind Control, Soul Eater's Trap, and then unstable energy. Let's see what that one says. Unstable energy. Cost none. Roll 1d6 for this turn. You bear fist attack gains these bonus benefits. If you roll one, energy is too weak, nothing happens. Two, attack twice. Three, one extra die and plus one to attack rolls. Four, two extra die and something. Three extra die, three extra die, and plus one to attack rolls. So that is your schizophrenia. Last but not least, we have 
OCD. You have tornado, relax, I've got this. Flash, flash, relax, I've got this. Stealth, watch your back. Tactical retreat, quick draw. Trail of sorrows, multitasking. Shadow trajectory, shifting strike. Stealth, shadow trajectory. Let's see what this one has to say. Attack. Gain plus two and plus one to attack rolls. Uh, I guess that's targeting. Gains two targeting. I'm not sure. And plus one to attack rolls. With a, maybe with a knife. Not sure. But there you go. That's your OCD. So that's all the cards that you get. So I just put them all over here real quick. As you can tell, there's a tremendous amount of cards for this game. There you go. So there's your cards. Now we're only at the half top, uh, half part of the box. So let's take that off. Say, let's take that out. We'll get to figures once we go through this because we have tokens first. So take a look. Let's take a look at our tokens. So here we go. We've got. Dead people at the bottom. Let's see, they pop right out. Not bendable. Nice thick cardboard. Always, you go, always. Whenever you're doing, whenever you're doing, looking at tokens, it's important that they don't bend. You definitely want to make sure they're okay. And you got filing cabinets. It looks like. You got different files. You got, I'm not sure what those are. Maybe they're doors. And your files. Peers. Files. These are drawers. Not sure what that is. Not exactly sure what that is. Flip them over. Uh, they have things in the back. Okay, I think these are the, actually the doors. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I think these are the doors. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that's it. There you go. Those are the doors over here. Got the broken glass on it. Solid doors. Yeah, I think that's what it is. There you go. That's the right way to hold it. I guess it's all different kinds of doors that you can use. Okay, go put that down there. Okay, let's do these tokens here. So it looks like your mines, an onk, looks like a Oh, that's a incense. That looks like incense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Snow. Spiders. Some kind of exclamation up here. Facial expression, not sure. Different numbers, eyes. Looks like a safe. VHS test tape. People remember those. These three things. Not sure what those are and balloons and some lips some vampire teeth a key and it looks like gas to me i'm not sure that might be the gas i'm not sure and so we flip that over real quick and the backs of those again some x's Okay, so these, these are some bonus ones down here. That's good. An ambush. All right. Maybe those are altar. Maybe that's an altar. I'm not sure what those are. Those are altar. Okay. And three altars, and here are the three altars as well. Those are cool. All 
All right, so now we're also going to start looking at the tiles. Now, these tiles are really, really cool. So, again, the, uh, the four that we showed you originally, which are back here, that I originally showed you when we first opened the box, they get they go in, in, in between here. So these are your tiles. Here's your first tile. Again, really cool artwork. So miniatures that are 28 millimeter, which we'll show you some of them in a minute. That's your first board, your second one. So your starting board would go in here. So you have a two by two that we use, or four squares that goes in the center point. And you choose which one you want, or the scenario will dictate to you which uh, board you use to set up with. Okay, so there's your first one. Your second one. No, I'll see, the artwork is top notch. Really depicts the feeling of being in a hospital. You know, a lot of dark colors. The other side. Okay, there's another one. Third board. Another board. Looks like a little satanic temple down there. Then the flip side. Again, I'm assuming just like a lot of the other games, that the board will be set up. It'll tell you which panels you need to use per game that you're playing. Now, again, I'm, I'm making an assumption there. I could be incorrect. You may be able to pick your own tile. I'm not sure, but I'm assuming there's probably rooms that are very specific to certain scenarios. Again, they gave you a lot of scenarios for this game. Whoop. Let that hit the camera with the board. Looks like big waiting rooms. This board, another board. Got a couple more of these to go. Of course, it indicates where the openings are for players to go through. And again, I showed you the tokens that are the uh, punch outs they have for you, the tokens that you have that you can use for the doors. I'll tell you where the door is locked, it's open. Okay, that's one. Okay, you got about three more boards to go. Here you go. Very cool. Again, you wake up in this hospital, you're going to know there's something going on with all the Destruction that's happening throughout the hospital, the writing, the... Oh, look at this one. This one's really cool now. Wow. 
walk-ins to fix the different room numbers. So it's very, very cool. Flip that over. This looks like bathrooms, okay. Different wards, different small cells. Okay, very cool. That might be my, that might be my favorite board, board of them all right now. Again. More cool stuff. That looks like it's almost, that looks like it's outside actually. Inside the hospital. With the gate open, the plants. Yeah, so I'm thinking this might be street level, I'm not sure. But it's pretty cool. And then you have the gymnasium, which is always cool. Offices by the by the basketball court. He is coming. Well, thank you for letting us know. There you go, the garden on the outside there. All right. And those are all the tiles that you receive. You also get a bunch of figures. So I'll start with the ones that are in the bag. There's so many figures that some of them had to be placed in bags. They didn't come in plastic, but there you go. Or they wouldn't all fit in the box, so there you go. You got a bag full of these guys. Let's see how many you get. Let's see you get. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of the same sculpt of that gentleman. You get 12 of those. And again, that's this figure here. You get 12 of those. Some of the other bigger ones, you get Frankenstein's monster and the warden. So the warden to me, the warden to me is probably the coolest figure you definitely get in this game. So that's Frankenstein's monster, just as it was depicted on the card. Great detail on it. It's a really, really awesome figure. Of course, he's one of the bosses to the game. Frankenstein's monster. Really, really cool. Open these guys that are next to him so you can. That's the game warden. Dragging a patient with him. That's cool. Look at the detail all around the figure itself. It's just, it's just really, really, really high quality figure. That's what you call badass right there. Well, yeah, that's an ass, but, <laughs> but that's a really, really awesome figure. Awesome. Now see, he stands taller than everybody else. Okay, and we also have another bag of figures here. These are your mental patients. Again, another high quality figure. Lots and lots of detail. So these would look pretty awesome painted up. Top view. With a straight jacket on, very cool. So you get a bag full of them. I think you get 12 of these also. Turn up real quick. So you get... So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you get 16 of those. get three of the twins three of them you 
you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nurses. Four of this character. These are the orderlies. Get four of those. Those are cool as well. You get two of these. I think these are the nuns. Yeah, those are nuns. You get two of those. You get three slashers. Okay. You get two vampires. Looks like uh, Salma Hayek from um, *Dust Till Dawn*. If you ever seen that movie, but you get two of her. You also get the clown. One of those. Beautiful clown. You get the cheerleader that's on the card with the vampire. You get the little girl. You get four of these. Oh, you only get one cheerleader. I just want to mention that. Four of the little girls. Looks like the girl from the ring. You get one. Oh, oh. Bad mama. And... Get this guy's name, but you get one of him. See, it's a guy. If you can't realize that half the body's there, it's something growing out of him. Or it's a shape or a shape shifting character. But that's cool. Really cool design. And get one of that. Get this guy. Another cool figure. There you go. Get the Baba Yaga. Not sure, but I think that's who they call it. Baba Yaga was uh, who they called uh, John Wick. So, if you watched any of those films with Keanu Reeves, right? So that's Baba Yaga. You only get one of that, and then you get this character here as well, the spirit. Which is really cool again. And last but not least, you get your main characters. I don't remember all their names off the top of my head, but here's a couple. Here's one. Can you get one of him? Get one.
one of him. Guy running. Get her. You get the Ripley type character. Get this character here. Get the Arnold character, which is really, really cool. Running around in his shorts. And last but not least, your one, three, four, five, oh, oh, one more after this. Get another one of the characters, your blade character, right? Your vampire hunter, right? Very cool. I like that. And last but not least, your eighth character is Grandma, Grandma Bates in the wheelchair. And there you have it. Everything that's included. Oh, let me show you this real quick. So, like I was saying, you get additional characters. You get, I told you, you get three of these. Show you that real quick. Again, you get four of the girls. You get three of the slashers. You get four of the these guys. You get two of the nurses. You get two of the vampires. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the nurses throw that on top of here as well so now whoop, sorry about that guy fell over so that is everything that you get when you pick up the game this base set of lobotomy first edition from titan forge games well, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing. It was a long one, almost an hour, but I appreciate you sticking through the whole video with me. So always appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for joining us on this unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, you can always give us a thumbs up. Also leave a comment below. You could also hit that subscribe button. This way you're alerted as to any time we release any new uh, content. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day. And we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.